の先を見ろまだ見ぬ敵を宇宙最強お前が誇り高きサイヤ人の血を引く者ならば俺の息子ならば誰にも負けることは許さん俺超えてみせます目の前の敵もトンさんも。All right, everybody, welcome back to another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. The ultimate test is finally upon us. We're going to be taking Vegeta and Trunks into the hardest Wicked Bloodline Red Zone stage, the Metal Cooler Core. Now, this is a very, very <laughs> difficult stage, if you guys know. Uh, obviously, you guys can be able to take this uh, stage down with the Worldwide Download Celebration LRs and everything like that. This particular section, however, we will have type disadvantage up against the core. But we'll see how well we are able to fare here. Um, now, I brought this uh, this little team right here. Obviously, we got a couple of SCR units just for us to be able to facilitate ourselves in the end. Uh, we can be able to look pretty good in there. But obviously, we got we to gotta make it through, dude. We got we to gotta see if we can be able to succeed on this. So... You guys have been able to see in the previous videos and everything. You guys have been able to see the, the full extent of their capabilities. And you guys know by now that these guys are the best units in the game. Uh, up until this point. Uh, we know now that Bro, uh, the the Super Dragon Ball... Uh, damn it. <laughs> I'm mixing up my words. The, super, the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie... Collaboration Part 3 is about to drop over on Global in about a few days' time. And we could be able to see, like, a big power creep now. And, like, we can be able to see uh, Beast Gohan and Orange Piccolo just take over the game. Uh, sooner or later, we will be able to see that uh, whenever they reveal their kits and everything like that. They're going to be and, uh, unstoppable, undeniably the best units in the game. So, right now, this unit in particular can be put in, like, the top one, two, or three. Uh, maybe even top five because of the Beast Gohan. Oh, okay. Gohan just decided not to guard, so I will be right back. All right, we're back in it. I am sorry about that. You know, you know how it is. You know how it is. Uh, middle Cooler does not take any... BS, you know? Metal Cooler's just here. If you're wasting my time, get the heck out of here. Uh, it, uh, also, unfortunate that Ultimate Gohan was not guarding, because that, that's what we need on the next few stage, uh, on the last stage. You know, if we're not guarding, then what the heck are we doing, you know? So, yeah, the ability for them to, like, do the intro animation, they are able to guard, um, uh, they're able to receive defense of, uh, as soon as they get hit. These guys are able to like do do it all basically. So I'm I'm thinking to myself, would we be able to see a better power creep than Vegeta and Trunks have? Because unfortunate to say the least, that obviously since JP is the more um, advanced version, I would I guess I would get to say you know. Uh, JP is always first, you know, that we uh, are basically mirroring what JP is getting ahead of time. We had to prepare and everything, but JP, if you're looking at it this way, JP knows his stuff, <laughs> and we see these units very, very late. We enjoy them a little bit too late, and then there comes joint celebrations like these ones that we're about to get, like the movie collab part three. With Beast Gohan and Norris Piccolo dropping, and we are not going to be able to enjoy these people, let's say, at the top, you know? We had that thing with the seven-year anniversary where, basically, Vegeta and Trunks overshadowed them. And now that Vegeta and Trunks are here, right now on Global, we are possibly going to be getting that celebration for the movie hero stuff, and... We're going to be losing the interest of maybe using Vegeta and Trunks because Beast Gohan is out and Beast Gohan is possibly going to be the best unit in the game. 
it, it, it's food for thought, uh, thought basically. Uh, I hate those types of things, man. Th that basically makes me want to switch over to JP, but uh, obviously, you, the the uh, <laughs> the amount of stones, the amount of passion, the amount of sweat, tears that I've been able to drop onto this account doesn't compare to a new account on JP, you know? Uh, starting a new on JP is going to be very, very hard. So basically, you can forge yourself with this, with what's coming. What we know now is that Beast Gohan is going to be insane. Yamcha is going to be pretty good, but all we care about is Beast Gohan and Orange Piccolo. Kid Goku is also going to be very good on the Movie Hero team. Uh, you've also got Hachan, which is a very good unit. Yajirobe, or God Jirobe, is going to be also in the game uh, coming soon. We also have this new LR Carnival Goku, who is going to be looking okay -ish. She's not going to be like looking too great, uh, as far as we have seen. Uh, but, you know, those types of things where a unit drops very, very late on RN, on Global, that's not for that's not the way that for us to see the world, basically. Uh, unless you want to move over to JP, which I guess is fine. I am actually, like, thinking about getting, like, a... <laughs> I'm getting another, like, Dokkan device where I can be able to grind my JP account and see if I can be able to get at the level that some of these people are and be able to buy stones in there. Uh, to see how the summons go over there and be able to summon on the banners that JP drops and stuff like that. Just so I can be able to build that account. Uh, but that's the thing, you know? Uh, you either start from zero on JP, look for the biggest, best celebrations in, in the game, and start anew on that account and be able to see the same thing that JP experiences when getting these units, right? When Vegeta and Trunks dropped, the... Seven year anniversary units got overshadowed by them. It's like, why? It's because of this. It's because of the car, uh, the power creep that we are be uh, we are constantly getting, you know. And is it fair? Yes, it is. Uh, unless we get we get to do something about it, you know. Unless they are able to match up the games in in terms of schedule. If we are able to finally sync up the games how great would this look you know oh we finally are going to be getting the same thing as jp is getting you know how many times we've been praying for that like there's no reason why us are us the global version of the game are six months behind or seven months behind who knows it, it, to this point vegeta's like the blue vegeta's ecas are have not dropped LR Metal Cooler, the core, uh, the Battlefield LR, we haven't gotten that ECA yet. We're, we're just now getting the LR Rose, Goku Black, and, and Samasu ECA. Like, what is happening with the schedule and everything? It's just bad. So I, I truly, truly wish just sync up the games. What is the problem for not to sync up the games in general, you know? I'm gonna use a Whis. I've been ranting this fight instead of just like keeping an eye on things. We had tight disadvantage in here. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but uh, we should be fine, obviously. Uh, 6.8. I think that's the, that's the Rainbow Death friend that you can be able to obtain. Um, but yeah, dude, like right now. For example, like Pan came out like months ago. I haven't been able to use Pan's team because of the power creep. Vegeta and Trunks are great. They're insane. They're very good. But they're they're not going to be Beast Gohan level. They're not going to be Orange Piccolo level, you know? Um, the Super Saiyan 4s, the, L the LR Gods, they're obviously going to be very good teams. But the LR Gods, you're going to use them all the time because of the movie hero buffs that we're constantly be getting. We got this. Like, right now, we got the Gamas. They're insane. They're very cool. Uh, but guess what? We're also going to be getting the... Uh, we're going to be getting Kid Goku. We're going to be getting Hachan. We're going to be getting Beast Gohan. We're going to get Orange Piccolo. We're going to be getting a, a, a side banner unit, a Pan. I, I'm pretty sure Pan is going to be, like, a featured side banner unit. I, I bet on that. Uh, but how can you top using movie heroes dude movie heroes is gonna be so busted it's gonna be the best team ever we also got the previous movie hero buffs with the carnival goku with the goku and vegeta like 
What are they doing? <laughs> Now the Super Saiyan 4s, I love Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta, man. They are so good, but how can I use these guys? <laughs> if all the teams that I'm, I'm, I'm being able to get, like, Dokkan is feeding me movie heroes more than anything else. So, everything is just getting overshadowed. Um, but, I, I guess that's how things go. I, I really, truly wish that Dokkan does something about it, just merge sync up the games it's just syncing them up. syncing them up would do the trick you guys have no issues whatsoever if you just sync the games <laughs> just just sync them up you know all right let me go ahead and play these active skills why not dude like i'm sorry for ranting あの、早まっても許さねえぞ。ファジョン。ファジョンしてって。おめえの口から聞けるなんて最高だぜ。ベジータ。俺は孫悟空でもベジータでもない。俺は貴様を倒すものだ。俺は諦めない。絶対にこの通りだ。トランクス。俺の力よ。この世界の人間の盾になれ。みんなの願いをこの一撃に込める。最悪。Alright, suffer for bursting your ear holes. Uh, let's go ahead and do this and recover a little bit of HP. Uh, if in any case, obviously if we die, I, I don't think we should die here, but in the case that we do, we're gonna be able to get the revive this time. Uh, I'm happy for this. Like, right now, we get Vegeta and Trunks, we get Samasu. Dude, I'm happy that we are able to get these units, right? Samasu is, like, possibly one of my favorite villains now. And that's the thing, you know. Previously, we had the uh, Worldwide Download Celebration, and I still believe, I'm a, strum, uh, I'm a firm believer, LR uh, uh, Final Form Cooler is still one of my favorite games in the game. But then we also got these ones, like the and Trunks, and then we also got Fusion Summons. When we, when we get that ECA for... Uh, when we get that ECA for Rosa, Goku, Black, and Samasu, we're going to be able to run these teams a lot. That we got it for that we got it from from Goku instead of like somebody prior to that. I knew that Vegeta and Trunks were gonna get it. I thought the, my Gogeta was actually gonna be the one. I'm gonna use the last week, but why not? And I'm hopeful that during this rotation we'll be able to do pretty decent damage to our boy Kula. Um, but yeah, what was the next goal? We're gonna be able to do like a about insane extreme future team. Because that's what we're getting the future buff. We're getting the buff for the game buff. We're getting LR uh, LR Rose Echo Black and Samasu 68. We're gonna be getting a lot of like utility and versatility with all of these units out here in the game. And it's gonna be happening like that. The power creep in this game is gonna continue on growing over and over and over and over and over again. 
uh, whenever these like bad badass units are going to be releasing dude uh, like don't don't pay attention to the thing that is right now like LR Prime Battle TN is so disgustingly bad I haven't been able to grind them yet <laughs> so those are the things like to consider you know uh, let's uh, let's do this and now I think we clear the game over 560k defense uh, I don't know if we're getting a Dokkan attack. We are not. We're not. Okay. If Gohan is not guarding, we are dead. <laughs> if Gohan doesn't guard this attack, we are going to be dead. Uh, but what can I say, dude? Uh, the GN trunks are like unstoppable, unparalleled units. They're perfect. <laughs> They're the, like the perfect unit here. So, if in any case, like power creep, uh, like if the game sync up, we will be very, very happy. I will be happy. I will be glad that the games managed to sync up. You know, because that way we don't have to force ourselves into a struggle and be like, oh my god, JP gets all the stuff first, and we are like, oh. Global mains, bro. Global is suffering. Global is starving for these units, man. So, we'll, we'll check and see what happens, dude. Uh, I, I am a, a, a firm believer that we can get the game synced up. That way, we don't we wouldn't have a struggle, you know? But it is what it is. Uh, are we not going to do... Okay, we're guarding. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Um... Uh, I guess one last uh, okay, one last super attack by uh, Vegeta and Trunks, and that should do it. Uh, but yeah, the Vegeta and Trunks, man, they're they're in a tier of their own, I would say, on global at the moment, at this time, because they're 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 crazy. They're gonna be very very good on very difficult events, and glad to see it. We got this on one try instead of Omega just dicking me over. So. Let me know what you guys think about Vegeta and Trunks. They are... I, I said this on the past couple of videos. I will say it again. They're great. They're crazy. Who who did their who did their kit? Who did their unit? Who, who designed this unit, you know? Uh, Vegeta and Trunks are great. They're fantastic. They're phenomenal. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like and enjoy it, please make sure to hit that big red subscribe button. Or big white subscribe button. However you guys see the, the subscribe button down below. Uh, as well as the like button. Because those two buttons greatly 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 support this channel so i appreciate you by clicking those two buttons if you have not clicked them yet i'll wait for a second for you to click them it's not that hard you just gotta you know tap it with your finger or just move your mouse there, there we go there we go i appreciate you thank you guys so much for watching check the links in the description i will see you guys all in the next video bye bye